I'm Real Generic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 12, Volume 2. We actually finished all that tape last week, so we're on to a new one. This is another one from Mel LaBelle. He's, he's, I, I quite literally, he's supplying this entire season, all eight videos in this, or eight videos, and then we've got the obviously the choice of the, the, the two games at the end. Um, uh, it, Mel is basically supplying every tape this 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 season, so so thanks, Mel. Um, this one has got definite data on this side. I've kind of kind of... Re- Fast forwarded to about halfway, and it's got data, and I flipped over to see, because there's nothing actually shown on there, whether or not there's something on the other side, and it happens to be music, so when this gets to the end, hopefully we've got more than um, two times Rasputin, I'm hoping it's not just Rasputin on here. But then again, it might just be Rasputin. So, so um, we'll, we'll give that a try. And we'll see what actually happens. There's a little mark there, so it's sort of. I guess that's where it starts. You see the little black mark there, the little black mark. So he's put on the start on there. Anyway, so um, we're going to give that a try. And do you know what? My sense of zen is kind of off. I'm assuming this is side A, funnily enough, because the 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 screws are on. I would have called side B. You see the screws. Just, just, just sensors then, sensors, OCD maybe a little bit here. But anyway, we're starting on, I guess, side two. Mel also sent me a number of other tapes, um, but some of them I can't quite actually play on this channel. Just literally because, let's just be, let's, let's be, let's just be fair. Um, Mr. Roy Chubby Brown is <laughs> is not exactly politically correct nowadays. I couldn't even find, I tried really hard to find a part where there was actually... Um, a non F word or some form of, um, you know, something that was actually semi PC or, you know, whatever else. It doesn't exist. Roy Tommy Brown, Mr. 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 Royston Vasey himself. He doesn't, we doesn't do that kind of stuff. So unfortunately, it's not going to go on the channel, but thanks, Mel. I thought that was quite funny. It amused me. Anyway, right. Without further ado, that's going in tape drive. Right, the tape is in the drive, and we are ready to go, so let's go down our favourite, um, basic, and load dit dit. Now, if I remember rightly, Rasputin, and I can't remember his story, Is he? A, was he a dictator of some sort of, and they start thinking Genghis Khan, he was a, he was a sort of, um, was, was it Mongol warlord? So it's not quite the same thing, um, Rasputin... Was very similar, was he like Eastern European sort of warlord kind of person? But anyway, we've got Rasputin first. I'm quite convinced that this is a Firebird game. In fact, I, I think I've got it. And I think I've never played it. Or if I have played it, it was a very long time ago. So I can't remember playing it. <laughs> Except it says Sooty. Okay, so Rasputin's clearly not on here, but we got Sooty instead. Sooty and Sweep. We've played Sooty and Sweep before. Why? The, this is this kind of comes with a, one of the things that was comments from last week's video was uh, obviously the, that that uh, Dizzy was a very quality uh, uh, game, high quality budget title, and I, as a, as a such, you don't see it copied so much. This is the funny thing about it because it was a budget title. Most people bought it, so you didn't get. You know, when we got that Dizzy there, that was actually quite a surprise because I haven't seen it most of the time. There was a few. I mean, we've, we've had a few budget titles that have been sort of been copied along the way, but quite often it's not necessarily. If the higher the quality of the budget title, the less likely it is to be copied. This is so. So the fact that we got Sooty here is kind of a bit weird because because this was of course a budget title. I'm not sure that this was a big box budget title, but it's strange that it's a budget title. So 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 or, or, or that a budget title is in on here. However, saying that, it's because they say Enigma in the top bottom corner, so it might not have been of a, a budget title initially. So, uh, but I mind you saying that there's alternative software there. That's the that's the budget name for the whole thing. Now, if I remember rightly, this is a, I always find this very odd because of course we've got Sooty and Sooty being uh, the the and Sweep was well, Sweep the dog. Well, Sweep's the dog, isn't he? Sooty's the Sooty's the the bear. The bear in the middle. He's a, he used to be a yellow bear, but then bear bear in the middle. We've got Sooty, and then we've got Sue, which is the panda one. Um, yeah, Matthew Matthew Corbett Corbett oh, Corbett Limited registered trademark. I'll probably get in trouble with him, you know, because I've played Sooty on my channel. But anyway, um, I, it, I I remember playing this one. It's really weird because they've got legs. Everybody's got legs, and if I remember rightly, it's really blooming hard to get the bum the the, the, the puppets to move up and down. I was going to say buggers there. Those are buggers to get down up and down the stairs. Realistically, they're very tough. They, they, if I remember rightly, they really struggle getting to go up and down things. And I think you're just collecting bones to save. 
I don't know what you're trying to say. When there's sooty shooting magic out of his wand. Marvellous. You know, spewing it all over Sweep there. Marvellous. Poor old Sweep. What's Sweep? Has Sweep got a handgun? You look at his hand on the uh, on the on the on the uh, on the on the right hand uh, side. Yeah, the right hand side there. If you look at the right right hand side there, is 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 Sully got a? Is, is he got like a? Is he is is he holding a a nine mil? I don't know. I, I don't know what he's holding, but it could be a pistol. I think it's a gun. I think he's got a gun. It kind of reminds me of. Have you ever? Have you ever if you, it depends whether you saw this part of the generation of games. Do you ever see uh, Kane and Lynch? I quite like Kane and Lynch. Ever, quite a lot of people didn't like Kane and Lynch. Kane and Lynch was this uh, gritty sort of psycho murderer con- with another psycho murderer EA game that came along, and it kind of reminds me of one of those guys. I think it's Lynch, and Lynch has like a bald head and those those kind of uh, furry bits of hair around the side. And that's kind of sooty right now with his with his nine mil. So sorry, sweep right now with his nine mil pistol. It's like Grand Theft Auto. Well, Grand Theft Auto in it. I watched Postman Pat from uh, uh, Jay's Manchild. I hope you've watched that too, because um, I quite enjoyed that one. I did enjoy that. Um, the Postman Pat. He did. This, he did all four Postman Pat games for the Spectrum. Pat three was awful. I, to be fair, it also goes for a pretty penny as well. I believe Pat three. You know. I've, I haven't got Pat 3. I always like Postman Pat, what wasn't num- which was number one of the alternative range rather than the one that was by Longman. Um, but that, that first Postman Pat, I always really like, rather liked that one. It was it, it never really. I mean, obviously until later on, you, you kind of go, it's it's you know Grand Theft Auto with 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 with, with post post vehicles. But but it 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 was just kind of good just to tr- chill out and go around, go around the thing and apparently it was it was it was it was uh, uh, he suggested it was only for six year olds well clearly I'm a six year old because I enjoyed that one I enjoyed Postman Pat however if you turn a difficulty up hard I'd like to point out that it's terrible because you die like really easily if you hit a wall too fast boom that's you dead it's none of this none of this uh, none of this uh, running into a wall and you survive it kind of thing no run into a wall in Postman Pat's van on hard on the game it's all over um, but I also quite like the fact that you had to deliver the letters, and you went back and you had some tea, you had a cup of tea. With, is it Mrs. Miggins? I, I, who, who's Goggins? Don't know what, what she's from, kid wise. I thought it was Goggins, but it's, it's Miggins. Mrs. Miggins, you go get a cup of tea, and then you get a parcel or a little thing to do for somebody, and then uh, after that you, you'd have some more tea, and it's really quite good. I quite like it. Oh, we've got some music there. It's a sooty so tune! Da, 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 da. Mm. Let's play one player. Let's play keyboard. Uh, which character do I want to be? I'm gonna be the I'm gonna go gangster, I'm gonna go sweep, and I want an easy game because I'm I'm rubbish at this. Yeah, this is the this is the one. Let's see if I can find the keys. Oh he can shoot! He has got a gun! I was I wasn't wrong! He has a gun! He's he's gone gangster. So the QA, I'm, I'm sure we've, we've played this before, and I, I don't know what, there's the jump, alright, they're all on the same button. Right, so we've got a, what's the keys, what's the point here with the keys, I can't remember what we're doing, we're collecting items for things. Uh, spanners and bones, bones will be my energy I suspect. I have got a gun, I can't believe it. There's uh, Sue sitting, waiting. He has just gone all gangster, he's gone all, he's gone all, he's gone all, uh, Kane and, what the hell was that? Normal shoot, push down and shoot, and you'd get that. Whoa. I think we've got to get the bones. I'm assuming Matthew's gone out and left us in on our own. Is that what it is? We've left. He's left us in our own. We've, we, we were. We were. We were. We were. Uh, we've been abandoned. He hasn't even cracked the window. Horrible man. <laughs> There's a lovely timer down the bottom there. You only get nine minutes to complete the entire game by the looks of things. Oh god, I've been knocked on my bum. How many lives do I get? Is it the bones on the corner there? Oh, do I have to give the stuff to Sue? Is that what it is? Uh, do I have to get out of the room? I have to, I have to kind of give Sue, give so Sue. Um, I, I can't even say it. I've got to give Sue the bone. I think that's what actually happens. So she, because she, she makes a beeping noises when I, when I, when I, when I get. Her. I, don't, I don't think. Uh, mm-hmm. What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Let's go give Sue my my bone. There you go, have a bone. She's collecting the bones. That's what she's doing. 
All right. I'm sure this is game is the one where it's absolutely uh, it's where it's rock solid to get down the stairs. Graphically and implementation wise, it's actually not too bad as a little platformer. Um, in the, in the in graphically the way it jumps, it, it's controllable and relatively simple. The shooting is a bit stupid, if you ask me. Um, that's just my thought on it. There you go, have another bone. So we've got all the bones. We can't get out of the garage. All right. Okay. Let's go back this way. What's the cake for? Why do we need cake? We've been we've done this room. Let's go past that snail. We've done that room as well. So we cleared out the bones there. I think that's all we have to do. Collect bones. I think that's I think that's the aim of the game. I think it's a bone collecting game. So we should have enough to go out of this room. Yep. There we go. There's the stairs. These are blooming ridiculous things. If I remember rightly, it's really hard to get these things to go down. Yeah, and then to go back up again is a nightmare. I managed to get down it because you have to hold it as you go past it. It's one of those those games that you have to hold to go past. The games room looks a bit um, sparse, does it not? It's a bit sparse, the games room. Oh, it's, oh, it's a pool table, I've just realised, or a snooker table. Right, got a fuse here. I don't want to do a fuse with it. The thing is, I can't seem to drop whatever I had at the moment. I don't know what that is. That's custard pie or something like that, is it? I can't believe that Sweeper's gone all gangster, though, with his pistol. There we go. Right, now, if I remember rightly, this is the bit that gets me real... Which is really hard here. You have to... You have to hold it, I think. Or do you have to just jump up them? This is... Yes, this is horrendous. This is the bit where I, I really struggled with it, I'm sure. Getting up the stairs is, like, the hardest thing ever. So you'd think that going upstairs... I think you, you push down and up. That there was... This, there we go. So you, you actually... Oh, no, don't do it. You actually hold down to go... Up. It's so weird. You have to hold down, push up, and then left to right, and he'll he'll walk up the stairs. So the down controls the, the movement. It's so weird. Well, that's not what I was expecting on this tape. That's for certain. I was expecting Rasputin. So, so uh, we, we, you know, I went from, um, you know, dictators and whatever else it is to, 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 to nothing at all. I haven't shot anything. There we go. You can't even kill them. They just, they just stand still. All right, okay, so we can't go that way. That's cool. There. Can, you go, can I go that way now? I've given her some, some bone. Yes. You, so you basically, to move from level to level, you have to, you have to give Sue... Whatever you find in the room, I just got to stop saying bone. <laughs> it's not right. Here we go, Sue. There's some more for you. What does Sooty pick up then? Does he pick up bones as well? Oh, she's not gonna let me out that one though. I've just given, I've given, just given you the, I've just given you the gift. Look, how are you not letting me out that one? Is that maybe the front front door? Because it says the porch there. This is where Matthew Corbett's locked us out. Alright, okay. On we go. I say implementation wise, it's actually fine. It's nice to see lots of colours, the graphics are okay, you know, that that the, it's 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 not a it's not a bad game in in Right, okay, I have to push down and then push up. What do I need to do? Push down, up and then whatever else. I managed to get it a moment ago. There we go. We got it. Now once we get to the top of the stairs, let the button go. The button. We're there. I missed that. I missed that. Uh, the bone level below. But we'll, there you go. Have that bone. Into the bedroom. Matthew's bedroom. And into Matthew's bedroom. Oh, to jump on Matthew's bed on his pillows. I think. There we go. To get up there. Oh, bad Matthew's bed. It's such a weird game. I have played it before. It has turned up before. I don't. I, I'm surprised it has though. I'm surprised it's become such a, uh, a you know, a, a, it's one that's a staple of, 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 of copying. I, I'm quite surprised by that. Unless it really was a, unless it was a high price game, which then of course would mean that people did did copy it back in the day. I would have thought. There you go. Take another bone. And into this next room. 
This is Sooty's room. Well, Sooty's room. He's got a bone up there. He's got a flower growing in his, in his house, of course. And this is Sweep's room. I'll get a Sue's room in a minute. Oh, God. I could have just got the bone there by just jumping straight up, but I didn't. An idiot. So Matthew's room. And then we're on our way. I'm guessing the next room is Sue's room. There we go. Sue's room. Who's is the next room after that? Oh, have we had, we've only had, have we had four rooms? I don't know. I managed to jump through the screen there. I don't know how that happened. Oh, God. Up we go. Up we go. I say, not bad. Just not what you expect, if that makes sense. There we go. Straight down, dropped on a face. It's not getting better. <laughs> right, on we go. There's a watch there. Don't know if we need to collect the watch for any particular reason. No, we can't. We'll do the old, go the, the jet set willy route here, straight up the toilet. That's the first level, isn't it? Where you, you, you're by the porcelain, uh, the porcelain, porcelain throne. The first level of jet set willy. And we're off. Through here. I've actually played this for ages now, and we've only got the first flipping game on here. Quite I, I, to fair, it's keeping me going. It's it's not bad. It's not. It's very doable. Right. So I need to push, and then uh, need to be at the bottom of the stairs. Down, up, push, and he goes up them in a mad fashion. And don't push the button because you go down again. I right, let go. You let go of them. Once he's initiated that, the run up the thing, that's all you need to do. I don't know how many of these we've got to collect. There's like 20 or something like that. I'm not going to do it, by the way. Time's running out. I'm going far too slowly. And he sat on his bum because he got stung by a bee. All right, I need to open this one so we can get through here. There, she's collecting the bones. And... Some items look like they should be picked up, and they're not. But they're not pick up bubble 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 ones. Okay. Up on the chair. There we go. So we've done. Oh God, does that mean I've I've practically done every room? I'm missing one bone. I know where that is. We might actually complete a game. Quick, quick, quick! It's on the first landing. It's on the first landing. Let's see if we can get down there. The very bottom floor. See if we've got time. Will we actually make it? Will I make the level? Here we go. There it is. Stairway. How do I get up there? Can I jump up on that? Yes. I fell on my bum quick. Game over. Run out of sooties. I don't know how I ran out of time. Or how many sooties, or how many sweeps I ran out of? I didn't even... Where do you see what the, the number of them were? I literally was finished that there. There was obviously 20 of those, and I literally missed it by, 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 by 41 seconds. Wow. Right, okay, let's reset the spectrum. Let's go again. That was cool. So, so that was not what I thought was on this tape. I thought this was going to be Rasputin, so it's probably not going to be Rasputin anywhere on this tape. The other side has got music on it, to be honest with you. That's a, it's got a, or it has a little bit of music. So hopefully, when we get to the end of this side, we'll we'll find some music. So uh, hopefully, I won't spend so much time messing around on a particular game. I'm so close. I should have gone for that one at the beginning, shouldn't I? Really? But how many lives did I have? I don't know how many lives I had. I just seemed to have lives, and they just disappeared. So um, anyway, let's let's fingers crossed. What we got? Now it's Rasp Rasputin. I can't remember the story of Rasputin. It's been a long time. I don't. I can't remember my history. I'm sure that uh, he's a uh, oh, no idea. Um, I'm sure he's something. He's he's some something. I'm I'm literally 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 gonna Google it now. Um, Rasputin. Gregorian Rasputin, a Rus Russian, a mystic and self-proclaimed holy man. I thought he was something else. I thought he was a thought he was a thought he was more violent than that. It's not the same person. Am I thinking of the same person? Must be. 
Oh, right, okay. I thought he was something else. He's not, he's a mystic. Uh, suffered from haemophilia, apparently. self proclaimed holy man. Uh, Rasputin was born a peasant in the f uh, in a f uh, to a peasant family in Siberia. You know, Siberia is on fire at the moment. Just to decide, they've got they've got they've got lots of forest fires there. It's never been so dry in Siberia. They've got a few problems. If you Google it, you'll find it. It's bizarre, though, that it hasn't come up on the news. I don't know why. I I, th I think this is a, a political thing between, the, you know, the United Kingdom and, and Russia. They're not actually saying what... You know, we don't report on Russian things that are happening, One, but, but they actually are on fire, apparently, at the moment. So there we go. Isn't that exciting? Um, yeah. rumour to have uh, I don't know he seems to be a holy man anyway according to this doesn't seem he seems to be dodgy but but definitely a holy man controversy he was a czar was he as well appointed czar controversial fellow I didn't know enough I don't know enough about him to be honest with you I'm just skim reading it there Um, theories of British involvement in his assassination. There you go. Anyway, yes, I was right, though. It was hot Rasputin. <laughs> I know it's the title of the thing. It came in a, it just came in a double duel, and I definitely have it. It's a game that I haven't played, and it's very similar to the cover to the the, the, cover, the, the loading screen that we've got there. And I have no idea what it's about or what, what we're doing with it or anything, to be honest with you. It's just it's just a game that I have um, that, that I've never played and probably should have played because I suspect it's probably all right. But he looks like a warrior in that rather than whatever I thought it was. Maybe I've got the wrong Rasputin there. That was, I don't, I don't know. You put it in the comments below. You always know. You always know better, and certainly so few history buffs amongst you actually. So, 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 uh, yeah. Ca carry on. Fill, fill in the blanks, and I'll, I'll update everybody next week. Because, because uh, you know, potted history, please. You know, only short ones. I've got coffee. Have you got a beverage? Mm. Oh God, I love coffee. I do love coffee. It's a, it's the best. Is coffee? How's your week been? Have you all been busy? Um, busy in a good way. Hopefully, I spent a little bit of time with your ZX Spectrums. And in the case of uh, Sean, uh, 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 my friend uh, Melabel or Sean, um, hopefully he spent a bit of time with his ZX81. Oh, hopefully he got his his thing through the post. I sent him a I sent him a ZX Spectrum, uh, not a ZX Spectrum, a ZX81 game um, game. No game, financial package thing, but it's really well preserved for its age. So, uh, and he collects those things, so I sent him one of those the other day. Anyway, keyboard one for keyboard. Yes, do I have to push a button for anything? Zero to play. Making funny noises. It's not making good noises. There's like a brrrr noise. It let me press that button, but doesn't let me press anything else. Oh, it's let me press something. You know, let me push those buttons. Let me press zero to play then. You let me press these other buttons, but you're not letting me press zero to play. Four cursor keys. No, that's not gone well. Hmm, that one's not gone well. Let's carry on. That one's not gone well at all. But mind you, they did say it's on here twice, so maybe maybe it's on here again. Um, as Rasputin, I've never played Rasputin before. Maybe maybe that's what's always happened. Maybe it's like a a 48k game that never really loads. But as I say, double dual case. So to 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 take two cassettes, it's a, it's a relatively inexpensive game still. So um, you know, it's still out there. I was, I, do you know something? I was, I've got, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a bit of a hump on about games at the moment, and and uh, and sort of uh, and and the the difference between sort of collecting, playing, and 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 these people who are collecting them as investments. You know the thing about it is that that they're collecting them as investments, but they're only really an investment 
while there's some interest in them. So, for instance, the ZX Spectrum and ZX81 games, lovely that we have them. You know, you, you, if you don't have some children that you've sort of made them grow up with these and they have some nostalgia for it, then realistically, they, the, the value of these things is going to go down. They're not, they're never really going to hold it forever. So, so, and I just got a bit of a hump about it. Somebody was post a, a video about um, on on the uh, RetroTech 100 page, which I which I I, I, I frequent, and uh, and and they posted a video about games to invest in, and I'm I'm thinking to myself, do you, do you know what? They're going to remake them for a start off. They're not great works of art, like um, I mean, they are great works of art. Don't get me wrong with the wording here. Great works of art, like uh, you know, your, your your Leonardo da Vinci's, your Raphael's, and all this kind of stuff. They're not that kind of thing. They're they because they're, they're like one offs. They're painted by the artist. They're one offs. They're they're unique in their very nature. Games are, were produced en masse for the most case, and there's some missing action and all this kind of stuff. And they have a they have a, 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 an inherent value, but that value is only to those that have an interest in those things, if that makes sense. So, and by the way, that's a lovely. Actually, like really like that screenshot. That super br um, super brat. This is actually based on um, uh, the the tennis player. Was it McEnroe? I can't remember. Is it McEnroe? It must be McEnroe. It's because he was he was always called a brat, I think, for for his behaviour on the on the on the on the on the tennis court. Um, but that's a really nice loading screen. I don't think I've ever seen it before, and I really like that. I like. The, I don't know why, but I really like the fact that they mixed because often they just go with yellows for the skin tone, but they've gone with yellows and pinks in here, and it just kind of looks it makes it look really good. Anyway, that's an aside. But 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 so we've got these um, you know unique works of art, but real art, and it's not to say these aren't beautiful and gorgeous and whatever else they are, but they're more nostalgia for most. Of us, and and those people who are out there, you know, pushing the idea of investments with them, that's a limited time on them. You, you're going to have to cash out at some point, and that bubble of of being able to sell them is going to be there. Yes, there'll be some inherent value, but it was not going to be the thousands and tens of thousand pounds that you think it's going to be. It kind of annoys me a bit. I mean, I don't know about you feel about it, but. When I'm collecting, I'm collecting for the nostalgia because I like it. Uh, I like the covers. I like how they look. But I don't want it to break the bank. It's not an expensive hobby. I'm not. I'm not a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, or a billionaire. Um, they can afford to buy whatever they want. They can afford to buy unique one-off pieces of art, which is what they, they they you know. And it's only valuable to them if they like it. I mean, I don't. I don't. Wouldn't, you know, if I saw a piece of art that I loved and I thought was beautiful and whatever else is, and I wanted to stick it on the wall. In that sense, I would. But the thing is, they bank, they put them in banks and things like this, and they just and they, they never see the light of day, or they never go or whatever. It's just a waste of time. What's the point in painting them? When a person painted those things, they might have painted it to sell. They might have painted it for their own entertainment. Blah 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 blah. It should be on a wall somewhere so somebody can see them at least. So and it's the same with the games. They should be out to, to to see and whatever else. If you're buying twenty copies of something to for for future sort of sales, I, I'm. No, I'm not sure. Not sure at all. I I, I get it. I don't. I, I I get what they're trying to do, but I don't do that. I definitely don't. Um, I have one or two sealed games. However, I'm never going to send them off to be graded because that's 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 bullshit in its own its own its own right. You know, grading stuff is effectively sending to somebody else to tell them that it's got nicks and cuts in it, and that it gives it a number. They have no value grading companies to to, to, to computer games, and they shouldn't be out there, and they shouldn't exist. Um, and I, grading is just a an absolute pile of rubbish, it really is. Because you could have a sealed copy that's as good as somebody's who's got a plastic case around it that says it's a 9.9. Because .9. you can, let's be honest. So, I mean, I just really got a bug on, I've really got a bug about that one at the moment. I'm, 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 I'll, be, I'll be brutally honest. I mean, it's a sort of tangent from me. I know I do tangents all the time, but tangent from me. But I've really got a bug about that because the, that whole fake, you know, selling Mario for a million and a half dollars that whole fake element of it and that whole fake grading stuff that goes with it and that whole fake industry that's being generated around it for people to put them on a shelf to never bloody play them um, when the games were created to be played in the first place that was the, that's how they were sold they didn't sell you the game because it looked arty and you're never going to open the bloody thing they, they sold it on the, 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 the on you playing the game and to put them on a shelf or into a bank or a vault or whatever else and speculate against them is 
is almost is so wrong. It really is. I want to I want to collect for fun. Um, I am prepared to pay for the rarer games that are less frequently appeared. Uh, you know, the less common. Sorry, I don't like the word rare. Less common games. I'm prepared to spend a, a little bit of money on them and um, to get hold of those particular games for my nostalgia. I'm not, you know, uh, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know how you feel about collecting. I like collecting. I like collecting. I like playing games. I mean, I picked up a game the other day because I, I liked the cover of it and I paid £10 for it because it was, it was, I'd not seen it before. It was actually, it's literally beside me, so I'm going to read the name out. Um, it was a, an, a, an Atlantis game and it was called The Caves of um, Contonia. And it had this, and it has a lovely picture on it of a, of a man sort of picking up a like a, a, a hammer in a cartoon style, and I really liked it. I paid a tenner for it, and I probably paid way too much money for it because it used to be a budget title. It was a one ninety nine. It actually says on the front of it, and I probably paid too much. And there's no pictures of it, and I'm going to put it in my spectrum. I'm going to load it, and I'm going to enjoy it, um, regardless of, of of whatever else it is. But I like the cover. I think it's really nice. It's got nostalgia for me. I like the sort of eighty styling of it. The sort of you know blue board around it, and the the cartoon in the middle and that effort and it's just a little bit of history for me it's not it's not anything else um yeah I, I, i'm not I'm, yeah i'm the wrong person to ask about investing and stuff like that I don't, we don't do investments we do we do enjoying what we've got anyway super brats loaded in the process so what we've got for options there's something on the options screen there from mr adcock i have played this before it was on the vega um it was one of the games that was there because uh, there was a deal i think with the atlantis people present super brat i'm gonna have a quick sip of coffee because i've been chatting too much press any key to select options yep mm-hmm Oh, coffee, 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 coffee. Um, three sets. Uh, switch off jingles. No, we want the music. Enter your surname. It's Demon. Demon. Thank you, Demon. The British final. I don't know what the keys are, though. To serve. Right, which is which is buttons? I'm trying to find buttons now. Is it cursors? It's not cursors. This is going well. Okay, I've not found the keys yet. I'm pushing everything. Enter your surname. I've entered my surname. I think I've just reset it accidentally. Oh, I can't even spell now. Thank you. That was H. Set source to zero. Yeah, whatever. Three. Uh, no. That was... Rename, no. No. Three sets. We're really having fun here. No. Oh, I've got something. I pushed the button. Out. I pushed the P button. It seems to have done something. Can't seem to move. Oh, P, P made it. Second serve. Okay, let's do... P, L. P. And what makes me move? I don't know what makes me move though. I've got I've got P for 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 taking the shot. I can't seem to move. P takes the shot. Boom! And hit the net. All right. Okay. This is going well, isn't it? Anybody else played Super Brat before? Okay. I've, I've hit it. Out. I'm bored already with this. I can't work out how to move. I can press P for one button. I can't get anything else to happen. And once, and it only seems to be like I hit it. So, oh, God. Let's move on. Let's move on. I've had enough. I've had enough. Let's move on. 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 I can't. I can't. I can't. can't handle any more of that. We've got to go on. Go on. Let's go on. I also picked up a few other games recently as well. And uh, um, I just as just an aside, I, 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 kept, I, I had a little look around eBay and I was like, I was like, you know, I like the cover on that. And I, I quite literally, I bought them because I like the covers. And because they look pretty, and they remind me of sort of the, the, the games I used to get back in the 80s, you know, and, and that kind of thing. I got, um, I got, um, 
Alphabetum, or Alphabetim, Robot Messiah. And that's, again, another beautiful cover. I really like that one. I think it's really good. I'll, I might put them on Twitter, actually, we'll get a chance. Um, and I also got, oh, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, because, of course, ninjas were banned in the 80s by the Tory party, because they don't like ninjas. So, so quite literally, that's you couldn't have ninjas. It was a banned word. It was seen as violent and dangerous. Yeah, you could have shinobi, which is basically the, the 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 Japanese word for ninja, isn't it? Anyway, let's 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 not worry about the the Tory party's um, foibles at the time. Um, yeah, no. So I got Robot Messiah, which looks really good. It's kind of a sort of a sort of yellow packaging with a with a with a with a robot on there, sort of smashing his hands and into into bits and pieces, while parked next to his um, June buggy. Because of course, all robots have a June buggy. We know this. This is the thing. You've got to you've got to rescue the robots. I like the tagline. It's like the one. The one hope for the droids. If only he'd been available for Star Wars. Anyway, I'll tell you what I also picked up as well. I picked up, um, I've been getting into these double play adventure games. They were basically, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. There's one, there's one particular one I'm looking for. I'm looking for the Hexagonal um, Museum, which is a, a text adventure. And I think it came with Twisted Tale, which was the... Um, basically, it's a story of Humpty Dumpty falling off the wall, but it's slightly different um, outcome of the whole thing. It's a twisted tale, hexagonal maze, and twisted t- twisted tale. This came on a double play adventure thing, it's a text adventure, and I really like that. And I'm still trying to find a copy of it. There's one in the United States, but and it's and it's about five dollars. But the problem is, important to the UK, it's about twenty-seven dollars, and then I'll have to pay tax on top of that. So I'm I'm reluctant to order one from there, considering that's the only place I've not find it so far. I must have a little look at uh, Sinclair for sale on uh, Facebook. They probably got a copy, or I should ask it out. But uh, a double play adventure, and I got one of these as well because that was cheap, and I put in a little cheeky bid, and I got it for basically pennies instead of whatever else is. And it's um it's got on it the Rifts of Time and the Traveller. No idea which either of them are, but I like the packaging, so I got them. Um, I just like the purple packaging. It's purple packaging and they've got these sort of long vertical um, um you know half and half bits and pieces this is shredder is it listen to me turtles i've taken splinter to get him back you must defeat the foot clan we are waiting for you ha 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 press the key right okay read fine keys three very rare you got a demo on these things that would 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 whatever else is left right up down fire h to pause right okay let's get going pick your turtle heroes in a half shell leonardo <laughs> i'm gonna go with leonardo oh what happened over there oh like a little oh it's, this is the like the world map i remember now it's really well done because this this copied off the um the nest version but obviously a little bit better. Graphically, it's stunning. This is the same guy who did Dan Dare 3, you can tell from, from the styling. I can't remember his name. And it's completely the wrong person. I got the wrong person last time I sort of thought about this. Who was? Oh, give, give over. I've killed my turtle already. I'm going to have some Raphael action. Raphael. Oh, he's better because he throws stuff. He's got a boomerang. It's always the more useful having a boomerang. I like it. Oh. Get off. There we go, we're crossing over here. Graphically, it's sound, isn't it? It really is. I mean, I know this is just a demo, but it's really sound. Late in the day for me, though, I would have been, I would have probably been moved away to a Commodore or um, um, Amiga by now. So, so I probably, I probably missed this one. I think I probably played it on the Commodore Amiga if it, if it appeared on that. Ah! Don't hit me with your steamroller. Is that it? Ah. Uh. Oh. Is that it? I think that's it. That's my demo over. I tell you what, though, cracking demo te- de- definitely showed off what it was capable of. I've definitely got a copy of this somewhere. It's one of these games that I really should try. I don't know why I haven't, to be honest, because I was always a big Turtles fan. I've got the original uh, role-playing book, if that makes sense. The, the, so there was a there was a role-playing game that got with the cast. The, originally, of course, it was a, an underground comic, um, and then uh, 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 the, there was uh, there was a role-playing game that was created with the with the with the comic book writer, um, and it, it's really good. It's really really good. So that's it. That's that's cool. I like it. That was really good. That was really nice to see that. 
We're only a quarter of the way through the tape, though, so we've got we about a third of the way through the tape, so we've got loads to do. Loads and loads to do, yeah. Loads to do. So, um, where was I? What was I talking about before that? I can't remember what I was talking about. Ah, whatever else I got. So, that, that double play one, two vertical sort of things, um, boxes on either side, nicely sort of sized the same, with a double play across the top of it. And one says the uh, Rift of Time, and the other says the Traveller, and sort of each one's an individual picture. It's really nice. And then I got something else, and I think it's educational. I do have a thing for educational packages. I do like educational software. It says, build a pyramid of words. Yes, definitely is. The Riddle of the Sphinx. And it's a big clamshell. It's in beautiful shape. It hasn't been broken. It's not been left in the sun so that it's all brittle. Um, it has all the manuals with it. And I got this Riddle of the, Riddle of the Sphinx. Um, I haven't tried it. I really need to try some educational things. But unfortunately, I believe I may embarrass myself mightily. Um, I have not got this game. Galvan, whatever it is, Galvain, Cos Cosmos Police, they're the, they're the police of the cosmos. What was the one thing recently that I was watching where they were the police, or was the last week there was a game where they were the police, weren't they? What was the game? Oh, it's really annoying me now, I've forgotten what they were, but anyway, it's a game where it's a sort of a space police, but again, we'll look, we're going to be the space police again, this has, this has a cover, I believe, from the uh, late, great um, Bob Wakelin. Um, this is the with this one. I think I'm sure it's a double cassette, but I may be wrong. This one, I have a feeling it is, and it's another one. The thing about it is, that, I mean, what a, what a great artist he was. He was a ph phenomenal artist. His artwork is just, it's just right, and it's just, and it's overly beautiful and over the top, and it's stunning, and it really is. And it's there's there's, there's I, I, it's, I struggle in my mind to think of artists that did work and cover artwork as well as he actually did. I mean, there are other good, art, great artists out there, but when it came to sort of Spectrum games, his stuff really stood out. I mean, one that always, rem always stands out for me specifically for you. I mean, if there's anyone particularly in your mind, stick it down in the comments below. I might have a show and tell next week. Um, but 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 uh, but one of the ones that sticks out my mind is Nightmare Rally. And I know it, I didn't actually feature a Lamborghini, but he had this Lamborghini content. And I, think, and I always loved the Lamborghini contest. I was, I think I was, a, I was in the Lamborghini camp. You know, when you, went, you know, we had a camp, didn't we, when we were a kid? And there was, there was obviously the Ferrari Testarossa, or it was the Lamborghini Contash, It was either one of the two. And I think the Lamborghini was the, the, the slower of the two vehicles. I think the, I think that the, the um, Testarossa was uh, 186 miles per hour, and the test, and the the Contash was only was only, I say only. I mean, but mind you, modern cars get to this easy enough. It was only um, 168 miles per hour, and I think that's the way it went. So there was like there was a there was a speed difference between the two. But I just think the styling on the Lamborghini Countach was uh, much more impressive. But but of course, Bob put this on the front cover of uh, Nightmare Rally, and I just wanted that so badly. I was I was desperate for that game back as a kid. Um, I probably have a couple of copies of it now because I just think it's so gorgeous. I just love it. You know, it's one of those games that face outwards on my shelves. I've got shelves games obviously and there's a few games that I just turn forwards and it's and I, I kind of swap, swap them around occasionally sort of the the ones that I turn forwards just to, so that I can admire the, the the covers and whatever else is I don't know what I've got forward at the moment actually I'm going to turn around and quickly look and tell you oh one for somebody who doesn't like him um I've got Dizzy on the rapids facing outwards at the moment only because it's cause quite funny that Dizzy's sitting on top of this like um a large keg going down a mountainside so there we go Yeah, we've got we've got we've got Laser Squad pointing outwards now, I and mean, this is a single cassette version of Laser Squad. Now, this was, and this is one of the few. And when we talk about things games sealed, it's one of the few sealed games I have. Um, I, it's not for value's sake that I've kept it sealed. By the way, I actually have another copy of Laser Squad. I have the 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 Blade larger box version of it. I just happen to have this is the Spanish version of it, which came in a small um, single dual cassette, and it happens to be sealed. And it was cheap. It really was. It wasn't it wasn't expensive. I paid fifteen pounds for it, and I didn't realise it was sealed. I actually wanted it to be open, um, and not that I'm bothered because it's fine. It's sealed, but because I've got the other one, I don't need to open this one. So that's the reason why it stayed sealed. So there's no no particular, it's not particularly anything big about it or anything like that. I don't think that it's going to be worth millions of pounds later. Um, and if I ever wanted to play it, I will open it at some point. But I've got the other one, so I don't do that. Um, 
Yeah, I've got quite a few Julian Gallops, Gallops pointing outwards at the moment. I've got Rebel Star pointing outwards. I've got um, um, Chaos pointing outwards. I mean, uh, Julian uh, does some con absolutely fantastic games. I do need to get one of his more modern ones. He did uh, a game, I think it's called Phoenix Point. That's the that's his replacement because he stopped doing the X XCOM games. He's moved on to um, work with his own company. I think he fell out with the publisher. Or, or either that, or he just took the money he got and went on to do something else. And they can't... I, I think he owns the kind of rights to some of it so I don't think that they can really do much about it so they, if they want to do an XCOM they probably have to pay him um, and he's getting he's able to do his new stuff so Phoenix Point was his new one wasn't it um, so that was the that was the that was so, so technically that's your successor to to XCOM rather than, uh, the, than than maybe the newer XCOMs even though they're very similar in their world um, what else have we got I've got Starbiker facing forwards. I do like Starbiker. An APB. I, I, I love APB. APB is just a, a crazy, crazy game. And I love APB for, for for no good reason other than the fact that I really loved it. And when I first saw it in the arcade, um, you know, All Points Bulletin, and you play as the policeman and you've got deep donuts to get your time back and all this kind of stuff, I really loved, one of the things I really loved about that was the fact that you had to sit down, there's a steering wheel and, the, and then a button for your, for, your, for your siren and all this kind of stuff. And it's just a crazy little game. They don't make crazy, quite, quite crazy games like that anymore. Well, no, I, I lie. There are there is uh, there is a few uh, there are a few is it retro rampage is one of the games more modern game um, built with an eight bit style comedy com, com, um, parody version of um, Grand Theft Auto's top down game. They've recently done a Hawaiian. I don't know, whatever it is, game of some sort. I can't remember the name of it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But they, they did that, and there was, um, yeah, is it Rampage? I'm, I'm going to look it up now. But but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's uh, Retro Rampage. I'm sure it is. Retro Rampage. I'm sure that's the game. Yeah, so Retro City Rampage. That's the game. That's kind of a top-down one. That's a mental sort of game. It's kind of very much like... Kind of reminds me of APB in its styling, but it's also more like Grand Theft Auto. It's a nuts game. Well worth well worth investing in that one. Um, and then they've... The same people have made... Because of V-Blank, whatever else is... And that's it. Hawaii. It's Shakedown Hawaii, which looks oh, absolutely crazy. So if the first one was the 8-bit version, the next one's the 16-bit the version of the game. You know, And it's nuts. It's kind of like... It's like it's like Grand Theft Auto gone mental. I can ki highly recommend those. If you've got people... PC or a Switch or even a, or even a, a game, another game's console of some sort, you'll probably find it there. I mean, re um, Retro City Rampage DX Plus, whatever else, is has been around for a while, and it's really it's really old fashioned, beautifully um, fashioned fit pixels. And Shakedown is is literally just last year, so so I, I can I can recommend those if you if you fancy a sort of a, a, a sort of a trip down nostalgia lane, if that makes sense. You, you, those are those are definitely worth um, visiting and revisiting. What else have we got? That's facing forwards. Oh, Chucky Egg. I've got Chucky Egg facing forward. I love Chucky Egg. I think it's a great game. It's one of my favourites. Oh, we're still loading. It's a very big loader, this one. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. We're having a massive load. Um... Oh, and 3D Tank Duel. That was given to me. I was thrown into to a, a, into a box by um, my lovely friend uh, Dennis Evans of, uh, of, of of the the Retro Cavern. Um, I, I I was looking for a copy of him. He he, he had one. Um, I, I'd made an order with him um, for some games, and he threw a copy in for free. And that nice, that nice when people are nice to you that kind of way. It's lovely. It's a, a wonderful thing. What is going on with this game? It's just loading and loading and loading. Is it that really that big? Was that finished? No. It's weird. It still seems to be loading for some reason. It's just a very, very long loader. Is it? What's it loading? Do you remember when we did, um, we fa I found that quite uncommon game, again, I will use the word common rather than rare, quite uncommon game, um, Fate of Atlantis, Indiana Jones Fate of Atlantis for the Spectrum, and we spent, and I think 45 minutes of the video was me loading the comic book that it was on, it was like a comic book pages that loaded and they paused and we watched it, and the comic book pages and loaded it, it was 45 minutes long, and then the game itself then failed to load, so I, I, I put it onto the, uh, onto my, uh, ZX Spectrum Omni, um, I was so, such a, such a, you know, 
What is going on with this game? Why isn't this doing something? Is it really that big a loader? I'm going to have to look it up on PlayZX now to see whether it's that big a loader. Because this, cause this seems to be obsessive, if, I'm, if you ask, ask me. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, and it was a great, it was a great, um, it was a great sort of, uh, it was a, it was, it, it well, I'm sorry, the Advent of Atlantis was a terrible game when it turned out to be, an isometric wander round and with a huge loader for some absurd reason, but again, very uncommon, it goes for a, a little bit of money, but, I mean, all these hit squads that went recently, I know that's because there's only certain numbers and they sort of survived and people want to complete collections on them, but, but, uh, and, but, you know, they're, they're only going to hold their value at such a point, you know, I think, I think, I think your Dark Man's already hit its its ceiling. I think the ceiling for Dark Man is between sort of four hundred and five hundred quid. That's what I think it is. You know, I think that's I think that's it. I don't think anybody wants to spend any more than that for nostalgia. I I don't. I I, I you, you know. I mean, I know you only need a couple of people bidding against each other to push things up, but realistically, I think that's all anybody wants to spend. I don't know how much um, Stun Runner went for recently, but 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 I certainly think that's that. Those are those are your limits, if that makes sense. Is this really this big? If it is, I'm quite surprised. It just seems like we've been loading forever. What's it called? Gal whatever it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Not according to this. It says it's two and a half minutes. So what are we loading now? I'm stopping it because I think it's loading nothing. I think we want to go back a bit here. I'm going to push the button to reset the spe spectrum here. That 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 must definitely is us loading other games. That's not not even that game. I'm going to rewind it a bit now. Right, we'll try from there because I just rewound it for a bit. That 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 so that seemed totally ridiculous. If it's only that big a game, let's see if there's something else here. That's not what we're wanting. I feel that was a bit naughty of it, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. And what we got here? There's a space there. Please be something good, something else. Ah, don't do that. It's because it's because it's had something that didn't load before. Let's just go load it. Dip. That was a bit off. Pang! Not even close. It's been loading nothing all this time. Sorry about that. Me yakking away about tapes and games and all this kind of stuff, and it's not even. We've completely passed some other games. So we had Pang on here as well. This has been a bit bit of a tape, actually, to be honest with you. I'm hoping I haven't passed too much there. I've got knows what else is on there. I've not even played that game. I've got the loader, by the way, on there. Play ZX. So what we'll do is we'll stick that on as well. Because if it's only a, um, two and a half minutes to load, I'm, I'm, we're giving it a try. Because I, I sounds sounds like a game that I quite would like. Because it's Cosmic Police. It sounds like it might be interesting. So we'll do it after straight after this one. Because because we don't want to miss it out. Because we've, we've done we've done the we've done you know we've got Pang to load. Pang. Funny. Oh, isn't this really weird? That's spooky actually. Um, it's uh, it's co coming up on my uh, one of my um, aged days, my levelling up days. Um, I'm getting that another year older, so I have to level up again. Um, you know, upgrade. I think my stats are going down though, unfortunately. Certain ones are going up, and other ones are going down. But anyway, so so in a role playing adventure way, it, it's 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 my leveling up day soon. Um, but my wife has been buying me a few odds and sods. What she say? She she what she does is say, "What do you want? Um, I'll give you some cash, and you can buy it yourself." And so I bought Pang for the for the Switch. So there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a version of Pang for the Switch at the moment, and it's an, it's relatively cheap. And and I I, I still buy them for the cartridges because I love the collecting. I like the element of collecting. I don't want just to do it digitally. Yes, I've got a PC, and I understand the whole Steam concept and all this kind of stuff. But I kind of, in a strange sort of way, I accept that I'm, uh, you know, that 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 at least that games list will move with me as far as it can move. Um, I very much doubt my children will want to play the games that I played. However, saying that, my daughter has a few games in her collection that that, that she so that that 
I've played that she likes. So, 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 you know, that's not such a bad thing. But, 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 um, you know, but when it comes to the Switch and things like that, because it's still a collector's console, without a doubt, a collector's console, because you don't need an internet connection to actually get the blooming thing to work. So, um, it, it is definitely a collector's console. Um, because it's, because it's, because it's a collector's console, I am, you know, I, I, I found a pang for it. And I'm delighted. I'm so pleased that I did. I think I think you know it, it's 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 a it's a colourful remix of the original game. The whole idea is a bizarrely um, there is actually a story to it. Did you realise this? There's a story to Pang. The story is it's an alien invasion of bubbles that you have to burst with like um, harpoons and things. I never knew that. But anyway, apparently that's what it is. An alien invasion of with which needs to be stopped with harpoons and little boys with uh, with with with. With um, I don't know. Are they they're like hel like um. I want to say helmets, but not quite helmets. If you know what I mean, they are helmets. They're but they're they're like they're like sort of, I don't know what kind you call it. Desert helmets or something similar, because they've got like peaks on the sides of them that go around, so a little bit wider. So so kind of think that 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 uh, you know that that that. The, the, I don't know, but I hadn't realised. I had no idea that Pang was a was a was a thing. And we're doing a lot of loading here again with Pang, and it's just rebooted. Fantastic! I was just worrying for a minute there whether we were going to get any further, but no, it's just rebooted. We're doing so well here now. We do. It's turning into a typical what's on the tape. Awesome. The usual crashing out. Let's go with that 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 uh, uh, whatever it was, the cosmic police one. Let's see if we can get that to load. We'll get we'll get the play ZX excited, and we'll we'll move on from the tape in a minute. We'll find out what's going on. It's a long one because this is a forty. This is forty five minutes per cycle. It's a C ninety, so this is we've got plenty to do, and I think this is plenty full. So that's always a good thing. So let's give it a load. Did it? Let's push the button on there. Let's bring this up. Let's press the play on the shorter t of the two. Uh, Any time you like. Play. Play. Yeah, that's that's perfectly good. Just hang on me. That's brilliant. That's what we like to see. I love it when um, things don't do what they're meant to do. That's brilliant. Let's search for it again. Galiv Galivan. Well, whatever it's called. There we go. Off we go. It just hung on the phone for some reason. Galavan. Galavan. Galavan? I don't know. Anyway, it's bizarre. Whatever it's called, it's, that's that's the game. I'm sure it's just a guy with a sword on the front of it, though, isn't it? It's just all, sort of attacking us with his sword. It's a speed loader, it looks like, which could be fun. Let's see what happens. This is an interesting tape, this one. It's an interesting tape. We're going, we're going, we're going badly thus far. <laughs> we're not, we're not, we've not, uh, we've not, uh, we've not, we've not, we've, we've had, we've had Suddy and Sweep load. We've had Rasputin fall over on us and not work. We've had, we've had um, Galavan not work. We've had, we've had, we've had Pang not load there. We're doing really well. It's very typical of what's on the tape. When, and we're, we're, we're well into the hour mark. We're well into the hour mark. We've been busy doing it for over an hour. And it's doing its usual thing of not working. So, never mind. In the background, my, my wife is trying to help with the naming of the game. She says, probably Galavan or Galavan. So, so um, yeah. Well, she's helping with the naming of it. What? Galavans? Galahad, she's saying. She's Galahad, she's saying. I don't think it is. Galahand? Oh, I give up. It, anyway, I give up. You can pronounce it in your, your own time down below. You enjoy yourselves. Um, go mad. Enjoy it. Have a look at the cover, because the art is fantastic. Um, and the art's almost always fantastic with all these games from, 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 from Bob. Anyway. So this one's this one's loading um, right now. Oh, a couple of minutes. We've got 46 seconds to go, so so we'll get this one loaded. Yeah, we'll get this. We'll get this. We'll get this. We'll get this. We'll get this loaded. Hopefully, we'll see what the cosmic police are doing. It may it may be it may be a, a bad thing. It may be a good thing. So it's a, it's going to be a long one. This one though, because I am only about. 
Oh, just over halfway on this tape, and it's been a, it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a strange one. But um, yeah, Pang is a good game as well. I really, I really like to see Pang working as well. That'd be another one to look up. Maybe we'll look up after what this one's loaded. Fingers crossed. Notice there's no loading screen on this now. I'm hoping it does load though. Have I got the right one? It does say Cosmic Police. Oh, that is so weird. Right, so that's actually finished loading, and it's not loaded. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, that doesn't like it. Whatever it is about that game, it does not like it at all. It does not like loading it. That's that's it finished again on the ta on the tape thing. Um, we have we have lost. It's got speed lock two against it. Is one of the? Is it one of those games? Is it another? Is it another one of those um, strange loop games which basically never bloom in loads? Is that what it is? Is it one of them? I think it is. I think we got to the, we got one of those games. Oh my god! We've just played run, went through all that for, for for no good reason. Let's try out. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's see what else is on this tape. Let's let's do it. There's got to be more on this tape. This, it smells of, uh, of 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 tapey action. I can tell. This is where there's nothing else. It has to be because I rewound it a fair bit, didn't I? Blackbeard. Wow. Everything's happening today. Blackbeard. Oh, no, is that another speed loader? Are we, are we, are we, is this going to load? Oh, God, will this load? I'm bracing myself now. I've got to the point where I'm bracing myself. I'm going to have to drink... I'm going to drink some very cold coffee now. We're going to go for the coffee. It's not quite... It's not got, quite got the skin on the top of the milk, because I do like a decent milky coffee. Mm. Is this a Kicks one or is this a Hit Squad one? I can't remember if it's turned up because because Kicks was the other one, wasn't it? That was the other remake one, and now there's a there's a fair, fairly popular movement for the the blue version of them because there was the, the I think the initial releases or the last releases were a dark blue, a navy blue kind of um, a, a sort of trim for the whole thing. I think there was a there was a fair there was a fair there's a fair following for the, for the, for those ones now as well. It just... Do you know what? You collect what you like. I think that's the answer. You know, collect what you like. Enjoy it. I mean, there are other games that are more expensive. One of the consoles more expensive to collect for. Um, the reason being that they were less common or they were expensive in the first place. Uh, the, the, For instance, in this country, if you want to collect for the PC Engine, you'll find it quite expensive. It's not... It, you've got to have fairly deep pockets, but we're not talking. You're not going to, you know, it's not, not you know, if you're getting back if you're a millionaire or whatever else, there's decent ways. You'd probably be able to manage to collect a fair number of them. And they're fairly expensive. But the problem with them is that the, the, the Jap it was a Japanese console. It was NEC's Japanese console with Hudson Soft supporting them, you know, the same people who made Bomberman. And as a result, it sold about 13 million units in Japan. Which meant they didn't sell that many elsewhere, and it wasn't really uh, it wasn't put pushed out in Europe, and and we didn't get it. And so, if you want the game for it, you're already paying import tax on it. You're importing it from Japan. If you want to play the American version, the Turbo FX um, or 16, as it was called, again you're you're importing again for that kind of thing. So they're gonna, it's going to cost you more money in a, in the first place, and it can be quite costly to collect for that one if you wish to collect. A full set or a selection of games. I mean, there was four hundred and eighty something odd games for it in total. If you want, or just on the hue cards, this is the little plastic credit card things that went into it. Because that's what it was—the plastic credit cards. It was a tiny little console. It was fourteen centimeters by fourteen centimeters. It was minuscule, but but these plastic hue cards that you could insert into it. Um, you've got about four hundred and eighty, and then you've got the CDs on top of that, which probably added another hundred, hundred and twenty games. But oh. Oh, thank goodness for that. Something's loaded. Oh, we can define the keys. Number four, right? Um, but yeah, I mean that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna set you back. Um, sort of collecting for that. Why? Why wouldn't it? It's you're importing it for a start off. I mean, but it, but also it wasn't particularly popular in certain places. Oh, I remember this. I don't remember what that does for me. Oh, I got shoot these guys. We have played this one before. This one has featured on this before. Right, we've got top-down view. I'm assuming we're going to try and stop these scallywags here. Or are we the scallywag? We're probably the scallywag, aren't we? Oh, I'm dead. I've just fell down on the floor. There's a, there's a gun. 
30 bullets. I wonder what my lives are. Is it the skull and crossbones? It seems to be it seems to be disappearing, the skull and crossbones is. And there we go, skull and crossbones. I wonder what I'm trying to do though. What's the, what is what is the aim of the game? What is the aim of the game? I've lost another I've lost the another bones off my skull and crossbones. Yeah, what's the aim of the game? What am I doing? What am I collecting? Am I shooting these? No. I'm also not collecting those. So I'm not sure what the aim of the game is, which is always a bad thing. Can't get in there from that side. Or can I get in the other side? No, nope, can't open that. Not played this game. I, I think it's appeared on what's on the tape before. I think I literally I just ended up doing this, walking around the place aimlessly, not really knowing what I'm doing. There's a knife. I'll pick up a knife. Oh, I like the knife. Yeah, I've got the knife. There's a th the guy throwing stuff at me. He's bounced off that wall there. We can walk across this thing. This is some sort of gangplanky. Th sort of that'll be the the hold, the cargo hold there. There's a big green pile of rope. I'm assuming it's rope. Might not be rope. Oh, he's got me. And that's it. It's all over. Okay, strange game. Gonna have a look quick, another quick go. We'll see what's going on. See if we can get over. I'm gonna go this way. See if I can get right the way across. I'm just gonna just keep walking. Uh, forget all the other things. It's got maze elements to it. Right. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I walked right. Oh, look, there's a thing to go down there. Downstairs. Look. Ah. Oh, I couldn't. Can't go down it. That's a shame. I thought I could go down there. So there's some boats on top of there. I can go around the boats. Again, another another what looks like I should be able to enter. Oh, I have entered. I pressed fire on top of it. I'm in. I'm in. Leave me alone. He's tracking me. He's tracking me. So do I have to get into the hold and get the treasure or something like that? That's how I get out. I don't want to get out. Oh, do I want to get out? Aha, hang on. There's that treasure up there. There's our treasure. No, nope. that's um, whatever that is. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, bless me. That was a bottle. A bottle of rum. Maybe I'm collecting rum. Oh, hang on. Down we go. We're getting further into the hold. Let's grab ourselves some treasury goodness. Some tasty treasure. Is that another bottle? I don't know how we're doing with the bottles, actually. There's one bottle there. It doesn't seem to be filling them up, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, further, further down we can go. Oh look, there looks like there should be another hold on that side there. There's another bottle there. I think we're collecting the bottles. I think that's the, the aim of the game. I think we're collecting bottles. We're collecting rum. Because that's what pirates all drink, isn't it? Rum. There we go. This is definitely it. Because we're in the, we're we're definitely in the rummy bit bit of here. Look at this. There's rum everywhere. I'm co collected. Are the bottles filling on the side of the screen? No. Ah. Wow, that was a lucky shot. I'm drunk. When I drink it, I can't walk straight, look. So I'm getting hammered drunk. We're not actually meant to be collecting the rum, by the way. I think I think that's just the side. But I can get hammered drunk. That's brilliant. So we can have drunk pirates. That's what it's all about, getting drunk pirates. Well, I suppose it's... I suppose it was... So we got murder and drinking. That's the uh, pirates... Staple of the pirates, isn't it, realistically? That's what they love to do. Murder and drink things. Let's see if we can, see if we can get too drunk that we basically... Nobody will... I'm dead. Well, it seems to be a game about drinking and murder. There we go. 
our personal favourites as a, as a pirate. Anyway, down we go to the next one. Let's go for it. It's a nice long one, this one. Nice long episode. I'm sure there's music on the other side, though. If there isn't, we'll, 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 find, we'll find out when we get to the end of this. I know I turned it over and we had a bit of... Uh, um, Michael Jackson, I think it was. Thriller or something similar. That was what that was on there. Oh, Pokes. We like a bit of Pokes. I always like Pokes because they got the nice menus that go with them. Nice menu options. They always, they always, they always used to make these little fancy sort of menu options that went with them all. Uh, you know, to sort of make them look nice. Pokes for Big Feet, or is it just called Big Feet Data? It was kind of a bit of a show-off thing, wasn't it? Doing the Pokes thing. It was always, it was always a nice sort of menu for for actually doing those 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 things, just to show off that that they can actually do that. So. Big feet, hurt noses. I think it's a cry for help. So what have we got on here? So we've got Guardian Angel, Time Machine, Blazing Thunder, um, Solar, Havoc, and Outlaw. It's a Sinclair user poke trilogy, Outlaw. Oh, you've got to start the tape. Oh, right, it wasn't even a very good demo of that one there, does it? Let's have a little look anyway. Right, let's break that and let's go. So that's basically the commands for a, for a, for a, for a, for, a, for doing a, a a thing. There wasn't even any menu there really. It was just it's kind of I was a bit I was a bit plain and simple for a change, wasn't it? It's was a bit like me, um, plain and simple. Nothing very exciting about the whole thing. So so nothing 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 at all. We're getting through the tape now. We've got a bit to go though. We've still got a bit to go. We've still we still we still may have more, possibly. Yep, we do. It's been a good tape, this one. Might try and get Pang, you know. Might see if we can get... Oh, Batman! Batman! And was that another Bob Wakelin? The original Batman? The first Batman? Because there was certainly two... There's two couple of them, wasn't there? There's a Joker one with the one with the Joker and where you had sort of that comic book style in, uh, sort of thing. This is the isometric one. This is one that I really want to get into. Um, I have I have at least two copies of this. I know that because I bought another one recently thinking I didn't have it and then discovered I looked on the shelf and went, oh, no, I do have it. Um... Um, but but if this is the, the not the movie one the, the sort of Batman that first came out from Ocean that was that was quite it's quite a quite a sexy Batman that one it's quite a, it's quite a good looking uh, uh, Batman if that makes sense it's a there's a there's a nice sort of uh, isometric style thing not that I'm big into isometrics because I always say this I'm not that keen on them um, but but it, it was always quite a clever one you had to build the back car didn't you that was the thing that was what you're looking for. Somebody dismantled the back car. I'm going to assume it's the Riddler because I don't think the Joker would have dismantled it. Joker's more likely to, 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 to I don't know, uh, tamper with your, your brakes and make you burn, blow up, blow it up and burn to death or something similar. Yeah, that's this is the one. This is the Batman I'm thinking of. This is the one where so he's got a hubcap in his hand. Somebody's lost a, it's This is like this is like Robin went nuts one day and decided that he was going to take take the Batmobile apart and hide it. Yeah, I'm sure you're building the Batmobile. I'm not sure what to do, but that's that's the aim of the game, isn't it? To build the Batmobile. I'm not sure why. Do you know why? Why was he building the Batmobile? Why was the Batmobile in parts? Who snuck into the Batcave and took the Batmobile apart? Was it Alfred? Was Alfred playing? Was was Alfred uh, in the in the wine cellar and and had a bad evening or something similar? And they all played, take the car apart. I don't know. I just I, it's all these weird things are going through my mind now. I have no idea what what whether or not what what happened with Batman's vehicle. But yeah, so that this is uh, this if, that's, if I'm right, if I remember rightly, that's what it is. This is classic Batman though, because you can see he's got the grey outfit, more it's more spandexy and less sort of armor plated as he is nowadays. I mean, to be fair. Let's be honest. The spandex was not the best idea if you're going to go out beating up villains who've got guns for a start off. It's definitely better to go with the old body armor, wasn't it? Or the lighter body armor. I think he just did wear lighter body armor in one of the new movies. I think there was one where he did. He did. I can't. Do you know what? I'm, I'm totally lost on the on the on on the on the saga of the current sort of uh, generation of movies. They they're all blurring into one now. I don't know about you, but they, they are. However, to be fair, I absolutely loved Suicide Squad too. Did you see Suicide Squad 2? Suicide Squad 2 is fantastic. Suicide Squad 1 is just utterly ridiculous in its very nature. They send these supposed super criminals to go hunt down the super big bad, which which is a very obvious super big bad, and they send them with an entire platoon of soldiers to guard... Why? Why, why, why did they need a platoon of soldiers to guard them in the first movie? They're super bad guys. They don't need a platoon of soldiers. There's absolutely no need to send a platoon of soldiers. In the second movie, they get the point. 
In the second, in the second Suicide Squad, they absolutely 100% get the point. They understand the whole nature of it, and it's a brilliant, 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 brilliantly uh, funny piece of um, of art. And they get it. They get that one. Suicide Squad Two is well worth a watch. It's definitely better than the first one, and it's definitely of, of the DC stuff that's out at the moment is by far one of my favourites. If that makes sense. Right. Okay. This. You only get one chance, get it right. Okay, so I want keys. And can I select the keys? Press enter to select option. Uh, any other key to move. Select keys. Ah, I can select keys. Right, okay. Enter select option. So, left. Enter to finish. Space. Right. Enter. Space. Oh, it's got all the rest of the QA, all those things, and Z for pickup. That's cool, that works for me. Shift to finish. And enter to play it. So, yeah, there we are, looking for the Batmobile. There's the Batmobile. Yeah, Batman's just lost the Batmobile. I'm not entirely sure why he's lost the Batmobile. Uh, you notice there's a few things you can pick up, though. But look at the graphics. They're quite nice. It's very... it's That's very Adam West, isn't it? That's the 60s That's the sixties Batman, isn't it? That's 100%. Uh, look, he's tapping his foot. Just leave it be, Batman. Leave it. Leave it. Um, so we've got eight Batman. Batman. Um, and basically, we can things to collect at the bottom. It's very... same. Is it the same craters as Head Over Heels? Diddly -doo 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 -doo. Don't touch anything, it's all deadly. What the hell are they doing in here? Diddly -doo 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 -doo. That was rubbish there, wasn't I? Crazy creatures in the back cave. Oh, that's something to pick up. I don't know why it does, but I picked it up. I'm not sure what that one is. I like the keys better on this one, actually. For an isometric, I'm not. I, it, it's not bothering me too much, actually. It's not, it's not usual. Not as usually uh, th this happy with them, but this actually plays all right. Come on, Batman. Let's beat these creatures. Do 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 do. Yeah, he's definitely look. He's got his, he's got a beer belly and everything. Look, this is this is definitely the Adam West one. I used to love watching that as a kid. I used to watch it on Saturday morning. So campy, it was brilliant. It really was, and I don't know how I can. Do 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 do. Yeah, it was proper campy. I loved it. Okay, through there. Do, 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 do. I can't shoot anything though, it's really annoying. I can't jump either. Batman's just. Batman's like like the non stealthy version of Batman, and his beer guts holding him down. Yeah, I'm almost dead. What's that going for? Oh, I've picked something up. I don't know what I did, but I went do 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 do. You assembled. Oh, it's a backcraft. It's not. Yeah, I think it's the same people who made it. It's good. It's good. It's well worth playing. I mean, it's worth putting the time into playing a bit of Batman. I got to admit, I'm, I'm, it, it's just one of those games that I've never got around to actually playing. So, so yeah, no, I quite like that one. Quite like that one. Well worth, well worth the wait on that one. So well worth getting to something we can actually play as well. I really do need to blow Pang though. I'm really, I'm really kind of keen to to try a bit of Pang now that we've we've we've, we've mentioned it a few times. I can't be, believe that uh, um, Galvian or whatever it is, Galva game didn't work. I wonder if Pang's available. If you can spell it correctly, it might be. Oh yes, it is. Wow, it's such a load. There's a massive load on it. I don't know if there's anything left on this tape though, let's see. Are we are we are we almost there? It's very quiet. 
I've got the play on. We've been playing for a little bit there. I hope we didn't miss too much, you know, when that other game didn't load. I think we got it. Oh, hang on. We've got something left. I knew this tape was proper chocker. Robocop 2! I don't remember anything about Robocop 2. Absolutely nothing. Not a single thing. Not a sausage. You remember anything about Robocop 2? I remember the movie. Absolutely love Robocop. I think Robocop's one of my favourite 80s sort of uh, 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 movies. Um, 80s, 80s, 90s. It's 80s, wasn't it? Do you know something? I can't even remember. 90! 1990! So it must have been 80 for, for 1988, 1989 for the previous one. So 90. So early 90s, early at the end of 80s. So, 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 but Robocop, the first Robocop is absolutely phenomenal. You cannot, it, it, it is, it is perfectly tacky, uh, grungy, um, diastopic is a good word. Um, a terrible future sort of thing. Um, it's, 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 um, it's, it's pulp. It's, it's, it's trash TV almost. But at the same time, it's fantastically well made, and it makes, and it makes it a great movie. And a second one, and our second one appeared in a funny year. I remember this. This came out in the same year as Die Hard Two. And Die Hard, I think, came out in the same. The first Die Hard came out in the same year as the original Robocop. And I think that the, the, the time, the movie industry, and I remember watching, I think it was uh, probably um, Barry Tuck on, on, on the film programme uh, in the UK, you know, that uh, they have a film programme that uh, to sort of reviews films and whatever else is. And they were saying how phenomenally violent the movies are. And it was, it was Robocop and Die Hard 2, that, uh, Robocop 2 and Ro Die Hard 2, that had kind of hit the, the, the peak of deaths and violence and whatever else is with I think Die Hard um, topping Robocop 2 for the number of deaths within the movie with about 267 people dying within the, the, the movie now you've got to, to, to get that in context because you're going to yourself he didn't kill that many terrorists no he didn't but they blew up a plane so they counted the plane as part of this and how we'd achieved this in the night this is 1990 how we'd achieved this level of you know um, um, how we deprived we'd be, uh, you know, depraved we'd all become by watching these uh, extremely violent movies, and that uh, you know, RoboCop with I think it was 137 or something like that. I'm guessing, by the way, I can't remember the exact number. 137 deaths was just the, you know, the the, the pits of depravity and all this kind of stuff that they did. So many deaths within it. There's so many, and you know what? I hate to say it, they're both eight. Well, one was 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 Die Hard, Die Hard, Die Hard. Two or Die Harder, as it was called, was it actually an eighteen? I can't remember. I think it was a fifteen, but it might have been an eighteen. I don't know. But certainly, Robocop Two was an eighteen, and it it didn't it was not. A, neither of them were apologetic about their their content, the way they worked. One both being sort of action movies within their nature. One was sci-fi. One was more sort of crime thriller in that way. I mean, I suppose this is crime as well. But they weren't apologetic for it, and I just don't understand it. It was just this mental sort of, uh, uh, you know, political correctness. Well, if you don't want to watch Robocop blowing up a whole bunch of people or whatever else, just don't watch Robocop 2. It's as simple as that. Same with Die Hard. But yeah, I remember there was a big hoo-ha about it. The, the body count for that particular year was extremely high in blockbuster movies. Who cares? It's a movie. If you take it, if you're taking it any other context, my God, seriously, um, it's literally a movie. It's there for your enjoyment. If you don't enjoy it, you can turn it off. It's on the video or on the TV or whatever else it is. On your, uh, when, when did DVDs come out? I don't think DVDs were out, so it'd be video at the time. But you turn off your video, you know, player, and don't watch it or don't go to the pictures to see RoboCop Two if you don't like things getting blown up and whatever else is. But I did like the story of RoboCop Two. The 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 whole um, you know making another. And making how you make another RoboCop, um, the first RoboCop uh, being his his birth or being able to survive, and the survival rate inside the the the, the metal cyborg shape that he was, because there's very little human left on him, was down to his upbringing, his religion, his convictions, um, his police training, all this kind of stuff. The the psychological makeup that would make him a survivor, even in a situation where he's a Tin Man, effectively. 
in Robocop 2 they try to recreate that experiment and they, the only way to they do that and if you haven't seen the movie I'm sorry I'm going to spoil it because it's been out for a very long time by the way if you haven't seen it it's well worth a watch uh, it's been out 31 years now if you haven't seen it 31 years it's tough but they try to recreate that experiment they need to make another they want to make another Robocop he is the only person the only police officer who survives the process when others have been put through it and whatever else it's I assume with the, the agreement of their parents because remember OCP um, Omni Corporation has purchased the whole of Detroit which I always think is hilarious they just literally own the city they haven't, there's, they haven't got a, you know they've got a mayor but this is what he's pointless because OCP own the city so, so, so it's up to OCP as a corporation to, to manage that city but um, um, I think that they they attempt to put some more bodies, uh, not bodies, but more more injured police officers into into these things. So 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 they they, they do that kind of thing, um, uh, but they don't find anybody. The first the only person they find is a um, drug kingpin with a god complex and an addiction to uh, a drug called Nuke, which comes in little vials that you can inject into your neck. I thought it was quite a clever little idea for the drug thing. You know, maybe not as a drug drug, but you know, as a drug. If you were a drug company, that whole idea would be sort of sensible if you were doing, like, kits for, I don't know, field medics or something like that, or or, or people who arrive on site first time round. But either way, it's just a, just a thought, anyway. Are we finished? I think it's crashed. This is brilliant timing. We're doing really well with this. This is a good tape in that sense. Proper welcome to the welcome to what's on the tape. Welcome to what's on the tape. Last week we had a lot of golf. That did not work well, by the way. That did not load. Let's have a little look and see what else is on this tape because we got we got literally a bite of a single thing left on it, so we're going to give it a try. But but yeah, so it's it's a it's a great story. It's well worth watching. I I highly recommend. Uh, Punky pigs. Ooh. Is this Psycho Pigs I'm thinking of? Because that was a fantastic... That had a fantastic cover for it. That po Psycho Pigs, they... they, well, they, they um, or certainly advert. This is the one where they, they got... I think she was a page three model and they literally, you know, laid her across the thing, stuck the name of the game in the top corner of it and sold it based on that. It was, pure, it was absolutely 100% pure sex. That is not what I'm thinking. That looks blooming brilliant. Look at that. Theodore Delvagas. Devil gas, punky piggy punks. Oh yeah! I don't know if Mel knew this was on here, but this, this is this this right up everybody's avenue. Bit of bit of punk, no poll tax. Yes, get your poll tax riots out. Yeah, that was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Taxing your people's not properties. But seriously, that was that was that was a that was a, that was a terrible idea. Although well, they haven't just done that again, by the way. It would have been easier to tax the rich, but hey, that's uh, given them a 5% increase on their, their tax taxables, realistically. Super, super tax. Not many of us are on 150 grand a year plus. I don't even know if that's the actual limit anymore. It used to be super tax, it used to be £150,000 a year in the UK. At which point you paid, I think it was 40% on everything you earned after, over that, or it is 40% at the moment. It used to be 50%, so it was 10% extra. And realistically, you're earning that kind of money. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't need. I wouldn't need that much money if that makes sense. And if I was earning that much money, I'd be, you know, it would be. There wouldn't. They, they, it would. I don't. Know, I don't even know what I'm saying. But, but one of those things. So, um, piggy punks, though. Never even heard of it. Brilliant. I think. Look at the piggy's finger. Where there's the corner there. Look at the piggy's finger in the corner there. I think he's got doing a one finger gesture behind that sign there. Is that loaded? Do you know what? I think that ended halfway through. I've never heard of that with with with, with the Oh maybe not. Piggy Punks, we need to find that on Play ZX. I've never heard of this game. Have you heard of this game? But that stopped because the tape ran out of tape at that point. Piggy Punks. Unless it's on the other side. Let's just try the other side of the tape quickly. Let's see if Piggy Punks is on there. That, that it looks awesome. Let's get that in there. Come on. Let's see if we've got Piggy Punks or whether we've got music. That would be good if it is. I'm going to have to look for Piggy Punks now. It's 
Sinclair Hughes and 1990 Piggy Punks. Oh, there's more on here. Right, okay, we'll stop that because that's just that's the other side tape. I found Piggy Punks though. We must we must load Piggy Punks. Forget forget that one. Let's press break on that. So the other side tape does have stuff on. So good good news that way. Fantastic news, in fact, that we've got all the stuff there. But we've got to play a game called Piggy Punks without a doubt. That has to happen. Two minutes to load. Piggy Punks. 1990 it was. Piggy Punks. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put... I've never even heard of that. To be fair, as I said, I probably had passed it by then. So so, so it, 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 it didn't happen. There we go. Piggy Punks. We've got it. We'll give Piggy Punks a go. Not a game I've heard of. I definitely want to do Pang though if I can get to it. Or Punky Pigs. Punky Pigs! Piggy Banks. Punks. Piggy Banks. Piggy Banks. Piggy Banks. Piggy Punks. Punky Pigs. I like the Punky Pigs better, I think. I think it sounds better, doesn't it? Sounds much more interesting. Piggy Punks. Punk punky Pigs. Punky Pigs. Piggy Punks. I'm going to look it up. Gonna look it up while we're loading it. Piggy punks. Oh, oh, oh! I'm not. I'm good. I'm quite. I'm quite disappointed, really. I am. I, I've just seen what it is. Um, it, it's it's effectively hungry hippo. So you know when you do the you do you've got the you've got the uh, the 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 the, well, I don't know. the 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 you know the the hungry hippos. You push the button, you eat the marbles. Go in the middle of it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame, realistically. That's a... Yeah, turn, turn, turn based simultaneous. Everybody plays. Um, oh, I'm quite... I'm quite... I was expecting... I was hoping for something else with that fantastic loading screen. You, you've got... You think to yourself, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be interesting. And it uh, turns out not to be quite what you thought it was going to be. That's a real shame, actually. That is a bit of a shame. Yeah, but it's definitely, it's, it's, yeah, it's, um, Hungry Hippo. You push the button, the hippo's heads go forward, they eat the things. In this case, it's pigs that go forward and eat the marbles that are there. We've got other stuff on the other side, though, for next week, so we've got another week's worth there, definitely on the other side. So, uh, the, the, the music must be near the end of the other side that I found, so, so I found some music near the end, so, so, we're not doing badly here on this particular thing. I'm quite proud of the, uh, the, the tape that we've got. I mean, um, we've got had some crashes, obviously, and we've had a few things I haven't blooming loaded, but, but we've got, we've got, we've got to get Punky Pigs on. Fingers crossed. We've got to see if it will load. So I've got it on the tape play to play it play this time round. And then we're going to give uh, Pang a go. Another game that's not loaded. It's not a happy bunny, this. Press the brake key, nothing happens. We're having a really bad time with this. Nothing wants to load today. It's the nature of what's on the tape, though. A hundred percent. The nature of the what's on the tape. You you don't expect it to do. You don't expect it to ever load everything. With some of my early ones, um, I quite literally gave up completely. There wasn't even an option to try them. Um, I got away with a few. I got away with a few cheaty ways of doing it. But but um, most of the time, it was it was it was impossible to do. I am going to load Pang. Hopefully, let's give Pang a go. I'm looking forward to that. We'll see if we can get Pang to go for it. If we can get one more, one more game, and then we'll, that we'll call it a day. Because I still didn't get that other one to work, did I? And, I, and, and Pang's kind of there. I think Pang's a big one, though. I think we, we, when you know when we were loading Pang before, I think Pink Pang's a, a huge sort of um, game in that sense. Got to remember to press the pause button occasionally on it. And then we can go back and forward. Now that they've got a rewind in it on the Play ZX app, it's, which is down in the description below. If you've never need, if you ever need it. You also need a tape adapter for Amazon uh, from Amazon that will get get you a, a connection, or you can get it on eBay, whichever it takes your fancy. We've got a lot of these games this week of loading with this loader as well. This sort of red round the edge of it. It's like it's like a, like I've got the whole tape from the same place. All tape from the same place. Is that loading? Please be loading. It's all gone a bit bare. If it doesn't load, I'm I'm I just, I'm dropping it today. No, I don't I don't think it's loading. I think we're I think I think I think it's failed. It's not to be. It's not to be today. It really isn't. Nothing nothing is to be today. 
That's the, 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 the beauty of what's on the tape. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. But we've had a few things that have loaded. We've definitely had a few games that have loaded. So um, without, uh, without, I'm not going to leave you in a black screen. I'm going to touch the reset on the spectrum. So there we go. At least I've got a spectrum screen to finish on. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you next week. We've got the other side of this tape to tackle. And I know there's a bit of music on there. So uh, um, for those who are after a bit of musical interlude, that will appear. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.